Hello, Ben the Pat Tester here. Um, just a quick one about medical equipment. Um, some of you might come across medical equipment as you go about pat testing. We're in an um, ultrasound clinic today. And you'll come across machines um, like this particular medical device. And if we come around and show you, you will see, on sometimes on the equipment, you just see there, there's a little logo of a person in a square. And that determines that this piece of equipment is a medical device and uh, you'll see it when you're in dentists and places like that um, sometimes medical beds medical hoists things like that they don't come under the remit of a standard pat tester um, they have to have a special medical pat test done on them um, it's not defined in our normal code of practice there's a completely different code of practice and standard to work to when pat testing medical equipment so my advice is if you come across any equipment like this steer clear of it as you can see here there's a particular label here um, from a medical company that come in and calibrate the machine and they also do a medical pat test on it as well see would sell a medical pat testing machine now uh, if you go on the website you can have a look about it have a read up about what a medical pat test is but it works to a completely different standard there's extra tests and things that need to be done uh, on medical equipment because they are coming into direct contact with patients which is why there's a completely separate test so when I'm in a medical situation like this, there's other things down here like adapters and laptops and lamps and things like that that all still need to be pat tested. But when it comes to the specific medical equipment with that little person logo on it in the square, then steer clear of that um, and seek some advice if you're not sure. Hope that helps. Catch you next time on the next video.